<coughs> Hello, sir. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, can you hear, sir? Yeah. Ah, Anupama. So yes, you have heard that uh, bone metastasis have you have said that bone metastasis happens to the Bateson's plexus. What is the peculiarity of this Bateson's plexus? How will you describe the peculiarity of the Bateson's plexus? Valveless plexus. Yeah. Any any more description? It is a high flow, low pressure, valveless system. Understand? Then uh, you have told that the breast metastasis, breast cancer metastasis to lumbar spine first. Fine. What is the order of frequency of bone spread in breast carcinoma? Lumbar spine? Yeah. Dorsal spine? In the same no. long bones, sir. So it is lumbar vertebrae, neck of femur, thoracic vertebrae, ribs, and skull. When in long bones, where do you find these metastasis commonly, long bones? In the femur, sir. Most commonly in uh, the femur. Femur. Yes, in the upper limb, where do you find? Humerus. Humerus. Why you? Why this bone metastasis occurs in femur and humerus? So first of all, these are long bones with high blood supply in the so, articular surfaces. Pardon me? Sir, there is increased blood supply, so they are well supplied with vascularities of these areas. No, oh, so most of the hemopoietic tissues are more concentrated in these long bones. Understand? Then, well, can you name a clinic, uh, clinical condition that develops in blood when you have a bone metastasis? What is the name given to that? When there is a metastatic spread to the bone, there will be a finding in your peripheral smear. What, what is the name given to that? When the tumor cells infiltrate the bone marrow, there is a picture you get in peripheral smear. What is the name? It's a leucoerythroplastic anemia. Understand? Then, about the technetium scan, what is the typical effective dose of the, a bone scan? Typical effective dose of a bone scan. And how much uh, uh, a chest x ray is it equivalent to? It is 4 millisieverts and it is equivalent to 200 chest radiograph. Yes. Then, can you uh, tell me some medications that can uh, that should be avoided before you want to send the patient for a bone scan? Bisphosphonates. Pardon me? Bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates, sorry. Bismuth and barium containing medications. Bismuth and barium containing medications you have to. Can you... Uh, name some hematological condition. Your last the minute. hematological last condition minute. that uh, prevents you from taking a bone scan. Hematological condition. Myelodysplastic symptoms. No, no, thalassemia major and hemochromatosis that increases the uptake of traces to the kidney and uh, liver rather than bone. Understand. My last question to you is, name some conditions producing osteoblastic bone secondaries and osteolytic bone secondaries. CA, prostate causes osteoblastic bone secondaries. One more. CA, CA breast Pardon? causes. CA breast produces CA a mixed... CA thyroid produces what? Osteolytic, osteolytic or osteoblastic? Osteolytic. So osteolytic. Very good. Then uh, uh, renal cell carcinoma? Osteolytic. Scan osteolytic. So a uh, bone scan, technetium bone scan better detects a osteoblastic bony lesion or an osteolytic bony lesion? Osteoblastic. Very good. Excellent. Thank okay, you. Thank you.